that continues to play out in the coming days as uh, that to Kambani push very quickly. Uh, I want to take, get your thoughts on, uh, during that meeting, uh, the member of parliament for Kitui East, uh, Nimrod Mbai, is attributed to have said some, uh, some utterances that we cannot play on air. I mean, I don't know if you, uh, the, it's been trending on social media. Uh, what's your quick comment on that, Mr. Didi Mutinde? First, it, it, it would be unfortunate, but I, I happen to know him personally. I saw in his page, he said, he, disowned, he said that he didn't say that. But of course, it would be unfortunate. No one no, should call for such things, in, uh, especially when you're in position of leadership. But I, I, now that I, I saw him disowning that, I wouldn't want to dwell very much on, on it. it. But All of right. course, that was not the right thing to do. Hesborn? Well, I, I think in the heat of political uh, you know, discourse and rhetoric, anyone can say anything. But it is important that if he retracted and disowned the statement, uh, he comes forth and, you know, does that, not on Facebook. Not all of us are his followers. All right. Brian? Yeah, you know, if he means he disowned the comment, he said he did not make the comments. So uh, it's unfortunate if he made the comments. And uh, as a, a country, uh, we need to desist from such uh, comments that will uh, burn our country down. Beben, in my view, as we grow as a democracy, we are supposed to vigorously attack ideas and run away from attacking personalities. The fact that he is denying that he did not make the comments is a confirmation that in fact he made the comments. And what he must do is to quickly look for Shari Chingilu and offer an apology. The idea of saying that I did not make the comments and he thinks that's sufficient is unacceptable because he's won an election, he's a jubilee member, he's a role model, and the people expect him to play beyond a certain league. And one would have expected for Mr. Mbogwa and Mr. Kavemba to immediately institute disciplinary action against a, a member of the National Assembly who says that uh, they are capable of uh, raping a politician or that as a politician who's taken a divergent view which is not consistent with theirs must be raped. That's unacceptable. We cannot afford to tiptoe around this issue. And at this stage, we need to ask for FIDA and other civil society organizations to take up measures against this. Because for people in Kitui, they may think that if you disagree with a female on an issue, the solution is to engage in an act of rape. It's really unacceptable. And one would also expect that for the DPP to move on his own motion and have this matter before All a right. competent court of law. We cannot afford to entertain this kind of mischief. All right, thank you.